Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bowhunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovac. Today, we're going to talk about this ultralight bad boy right here. Okay, uh, This is the wall drop pack seat is what this is. And it's straight up incredible. It's amazing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to explain it to you. I've been testing it for a couple of days. I'm going to go out and show you how it works out here in the trees. I've been shooting out of it. It works incredible. Um, I've made a few little simple changes to it. We will talk about that as well too. We have, when I was on that public land hunt, Aaron Farley had one of these and I got to look at it firsthand I went what is that and oh my gosh where do I get it so what we have here now is we have the wall drop pack seat okay now this is much more than a chair um, so it's got a lot of advantages which I will take you out there and show you those functions and what it does but this is a leaning chair means that you do not have to open it see how these are angle kicked like this you can lean this right against a actual um, just lean it right against a tree and sit on it just like it is right there with the back of this here leaning against the tree. So just set it there and lean it, sit on it. Um, so it's real functional there. Or it becomes self-standing by popping this off, dropping this down, and this strap will connect to here and make it a self-standing chair. And it's nice because the back doesn't sink in because it's one whole tube. It's not four separate feet. Plus the diameter of these are huge. And he actually gave me two tennis balls in the thing if I want to put over there over as well to, you know, prevent sinking into if I'm using it in like muck and stuff like that. So really nice features there. And it is adjustable. Okay. I can adjust based on the elevation of the ground and what I need and whatever angle I want to be on. I can adjust that by loosening or tightening this strap that connects to right here. It goes right around there and holds that. And I can adjust that to wherever I want it to be. So beautiful. And I'll show you that simple functionality here. Um, same with if I'm leaning it against the tree. I can put it up more or lean it down against the tree. Whatever I want to do. So just beautiful design in there. And it also serves as an actual. It comes with backpack straps. Okay. You have backpack straps and an actual hip belt. So if we release this and pop this around. We actually have both. We have backpack straps with a uh, sternum strap on here too, which is really nice. Okay, backpack straps, sternum straps, and we have a hip belt here that we can put on as well. Okay, so we got all this to carry that, and this thing actually works as a pack frame. Okay, so if I take the seat shelf, I can even do it while I'm sitting standing here in it, and I put that shelf out this way, when I set my game bags and stuff into here, okay, all in there and strap them in, this shelf, this seat actually works as a shelf right here, a load shelf for a game or for your game bags. And I can actually tighten all this up, cinch everything down, and I can pack animals out on this with all my meat sitting there and strapped into here and have it locked in and have it actually used as a frame pack to pack out animals. That is absolutely amazing. That is just beautiful. So it gives you a lot of functionality to it. And then a seat. Like I said, flips right back through when you want to use it as a seat. You just move your shoulder straps out of the way, and it is now your seat. Okay, just beautiful, beautiful design. We're going to go outside. I'm going to show you more about this here in a minute. Um, and then we also have one more thing while we're in here. Okay, so if we set this right here on this table for a minute, we're just going to set it here. Okay, so we have that. They also sent me... Um, which I did, I don't mind, but I have my own system for, for game bags, so I don't need it. But they also sent me this pack bag, this game bag. This goes right on these pins, okay? Sits right on these pins, and when you have this in pack out mode, so when you have this shelf through, you have this seat up, this can actually lock right onto here, right on these pins up on the top. Actually, this is more in your way than I think it is anything. But so you can take these pins. All these pins are just held on with cotter pins. Real easy. These are actually regular backpacking um, pins. They're common at every REI if you need to change them or anything like that. But that would go right on there and then this thing would hang on here and it's a drawstring adjustable. Sit right on that pack thing. Um, tighten it down and it has a uh, two compression straps on here for it too. But it's actually a pack out game bag. Okay, so you could put your game bag full of deer meat, your whole packed out animal in that, set them right on here and have it connected to this, and that actually folds up and tucks into here. I'll give you an insert from when I unbox this thing. Um, I will put it right here for you. I'll pause this, put that insert video in that will show you how this bag worked. 
okay? I like it, it's not bad, it's got a little weight to it, and it's kinda, I like the airflow better through the seat without having that on there, but I am down in Georgia. So for me, I'd rather carry that separately, and I'm probably not gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna carry it, I'm just gonna use this as the frame pack part, like this, and I'm going to put my, um, my game bags on here, and then I will lash my game bags right to this with some paracord, and then have the whole thing tied up. That's what I'm personally going to do. So I'm probably not going to use that, but it is a fantastic idea. This thing weighs like 4.8 pounds. It's next to nothing. The quality of this is unbelievable. Okay, I'm burning up in here. You're going to see me sweating, but let me show you. Look at the bolt nut quality. Okay, we got capped ends on here that are actually closed off. The welds are phenomenal. I mean, this is simplicity. These pins, again, that you're seeing on here that are held on with cotter keys, these are regular backpacking pins that you're seeing on here. Okay, all these pins that are on here, those are backpacking pins. You can buy those. If you were to ever break one, you could buy them at any REI type store. Um, they all come with cotter keys included in them, as you're seeing right here. And he zip ties the cotter keys so he can't lose them. Okay, the only thing of this that is riveted is this strap is riveted right here. This is a strap that goes around and holds the back leg up like this. So if we put this on here and we close it, okay, this strap is the only thing that has a rivet there and a rivet there. And if any of that were to ever fail, you could drill that out and bolt it. But everything else is nut and bolted on here. Um, high quality, basically simple to work on and simple to repair. It is paracord. Okay, we're using like a paracord rope. Good quality grommets. Simplicity in its finest level on this thing. Even a seat. When we roll the seat out, we look at the back of the seat. Okay, paracord lacing that is adjustable. Okay, you can adjust that. Like I said, fantastic design. Simplicity in its purest form. All right, you guys can see I'm sweating like crazy. Let's get ready to take this thing outside and see what it looks like out there for you. But high quality chair, very much love it. Let's go outside. All right, let's lean this thing so you can see on a few different trees. So if I wanted to come up and hunt this tree, I don't need to put that bottom bar down. Okay, I don't have to do that. I can take this thing just as I took it off my back, okay? So I walk out there out in the woods with it like this, and here I am. I get out here, I pop that hip belt, I take this thing. All I do is then take it, lean it against the tree where I want, hold the seat out, and I'm set and I'm ready. I can have that set up right here like this. I am comfortable as can be, good to go. I can shoot all of this, but this is it. That's it. If I don't like the angle, I grab the chair and I move it down more, and now I can lean way back and get real comfortable. If I don't want that, I can pick it up and move it up here even straighter. And now more straight up and down. Simplicity of this thing is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't get any easier than that. I straight up love the simplicity. When I'm done, flip the seat up, take my two backpack straps, and throw it on my back, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so just a nice setup. Now, what if we wanted to use it as an actual standing chair? So let's look at this. Let's go, uh, let's see here. Let's pick this. Let's say we wanted to tuck into this little corner right here. We wanted to just hunker into that little spot right there, um, but we don't have anything to lean on, okay? So we just take the chair, we come here, and we take it, pop our little back strap here that holds that on, drop down that leg, Pick the elevation we're looking for here, open the seat, I go, I want it there, now let's make it a little more, and I can strap this back strap right here. This goes through, comes right back through here, and reconnects, and then I can adjust that wherever I want. Say I want, ah, oh, let's say right there. So right there is good. We are strapped and it won't go any further. We say, okay, we're set, and then all I do, come in here, sit down, I'm tucked in, I'm hitting away. Okay, I got my whole setup here. I'm ready to shoot. Anything that comes through here on me, I got them. So pure simplicity in its simplest form. Showing you that on a side view. Okay, there it is. Right here, just like that. Okay, perfect. Doesn't get any easier than that. We have people burning out. Let me uh, readjust this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, and is that good? Yes. So like I said, simplicity. Pure simplicity and comfort. Now, if the back that I'm on was leaning me too far forward, or say it was a hill, all I have to do is grab this and give a little more slack in this. Now I could extend that out further, and now it tips back further, or to accommodate the hill that's on there, 
okay, or anything I need to do, or if I needed it stiffer and I needed it right here so it's more straight up and down, I pull that, now it's much more straight up and down. So it's that simple to make the adjustments on this chair. This chair is phenomenal. Like I said, for me to be able to shoot everywhere around this thing, and it's quiet, okay? Now I'm a little too straight up and down for here. Let's put it back down some. Okay, so we hit this, pull that, give it a little slack. Pops out, there it is. Now, what else is really nice is it's easy because of the height to get off of and move if I gotta shoot. So if I have stuff here and I'm set in this tree, I'm tucked into here. We come into here and we're all tucked in like this. We're waiting and we're ready and all of a sudden deer are over there and I have to move to them. I can very easily get up off of this and I can make my move to get there. It's not hard. And if I have to spin, so if we're sitting like this and we're tucked in this way, and I have to move to shoot that way, roll to shoot that way. Watch how easy, you know, that's always our hard spot is that offside. Okay, well, I'm set for everything out here. But if deer come in that way, watch this. And it's that easy to get on and off this chair. I love that. And it's dead silent. There is no noise. So for me to literally roll to my knee and shoot, done. Problem solved. So it gives me all that range. So I love the setup of this thing. And like I said, for the pack frame aspect, when you're done, even here when you're done hunting, fold that, click the clicker here for your buckle, pass it back through, fold this up, and then I personally am reconnecting this buckle here to keep it simple. And then what I'm doing is I'm just feeding it right between these straps back here so it's out of the way, closing that up. And then you just hit your uh, connect, you know, your holder buckle here, which is just going to hold it all together nice for you. Now you can also hang your pack. This guy cruising around here, being real loud. Um, but you can also hang your pack on this, do stuff like that. I'm going to show you how I do it. That's a semi. Sorry. I live in town. We got people that are always driving around and making lots of noise. Um, but you can hang your backpack on this if you wanted to. I found a different way. Okay, first I was doing that, putting this through my, my backpack straps, feeding it through the straps. I have tried every way there is over the last couple of days. The way I'm doing it now, I like the best, and I will show it to you in a second. But fantastic, lightweight, next to nothing. I mean, this thing weighs nothing, and it turns into a complete pack frame. So when you have this on, as I showed you inside the garage, you can have that, and with that game on there, Pushing this right through, you put that animal right in here. He's going to hang right on this shelf, right here like that. That this load bar is going to help support him. He's going to his weight will be in the middle, so it's not like you need to support this bar. Okay, it it can be like that because of the fact it can't go that far. But all your weight is here, which is going to push this up anyway. Drop that right in there, lash it right to here. You have a hip belt on here too, which is nice if you want to use it to use that hip belt for to get that weight up. And it's a perfect pack frame as well as everything else too. So the design of this is beautiful. The elevation changes and functionality of it is beautiful. Let me now show you how we put it on a pack, how I'm gonna be carrying this thing. So we'll be right back when we grab my packs. Now we got my pack here too, we'll show you that. We'll show you two packs in a minute, how we're doing that. But as far as modifications, what have I done to this? Only two things. What I did is I actually hit it with a little bit of spray paint, mainly along these, this black stuff to kind of, I hit it with a little just Krylon uh, light brown spray paint just to tone down the black a little bit. That's the only thing I did. I'm actually going to hit my waistband stra strap a little more. I hit it on the back side, as you can see, but I'm going to put a little bit more paint um, on some of that. I hit a couple little spotches. Nothing crazy on this. Mainly you guys know I paint stuff because I want to protect from rust for my nuts and bolts and things. So just a little bit of paint is all I've done to this. And then I added this set of stealth strips on here. Okay, I took and put stealth strips around this part. This is that back leg that folds down. It's also the leg that when I lean this against the tree, when I set it and lean it against the tree, this is the part that's bumping the tree. This black strap 
okay, it goes around right here, it is riveted in, it goes around, it's riveted in and held together there, okay. Uh, again, I'll give you an inset in the, uh, from when I did the unboxing. At the end of this video, as a matter of fact, let's do that. When this video is done, I'll put the inset, or I'll put the whole unboxing in here so you can see it stock as it came with everything. I'll put that at the end of this. But I put stealth strips, wrapped them around and around and around that, encompassing that so that when I lean this against a tree, I'm not putting any wear on this strap, okay, the strap that's on here. That way it lasts longer, it's protected. That's all I did, just took it and wrapped it around a couple of times with stealth strips just to, again to protect that strap right there. Only modification that I've made to this, that other than paint, but you don't need to make any. It is such a simple design. The simplicity of this thing is so flawless in what it is. Now it's it's 225 bucks is what it costs. Um, and uh, but like I said, I'm I'm so impressed with this thing, high quality. Now when I'm putting it on my pack, good news is two things. One, you won't ha I don't have to carry this pack no more. I don't need to carry this when I'm ground hunting. This is my tree stand packs. I got my harness, my lineman belt, all my stuff like that in here that I have to have. Um, so when I do my out of state hunts, I'm gonna have this pack anyway. But I don't need to. Um, I don't need to use this pack anymore because I'm not carrying a stand and all that stuff. But if we are going to do this, I'm getting dripped on by this tree. You'll probably watch them. If you, I should put that in slow motion. You can see them hit and bounce off my head. But uh, so what we can do with this, I've tried hanging, which you can do. Okay, I can take this like this. And we got our backpack straps on the front. And you can put this right up on here. Put your shoulder straps right over top of it. Okay, let me back this up a little bit so you get the whole effect of that thing in there. Okay, but I can put the shoulder straps over top and when I tighten up the sternum strap, it holds it. Okay, so I can put that on there like that, crank this down nice and tight on the sternum strap, put the hip belt right around it too, and then tighten up the hip belt and snug that right up. And that stays right on there perfect. Look at that's right on there, nice, tight, not going anywhere, fully functional. You want to make sure that you put the sternum straps behind your backpack straps on this so that they're hidden in there but you can see here when I turn that okay fully functional that's on there and it's not bothering anything and it works great so I take this put it right on me just like this I have my sternum strap here so I can put that right on I'm all good there I can put my hip belt on if I want to I'm not gonna grab it but you can see how easy that is okay how functional that is the shape and design of this thing stays hidden behind your torso very well it is the perfect shape so that is hidden back in there tucked in there good Okay, that's one way that you could do it, and this is very comfortable. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever, and it keeps that frame nice and tight to you. Um, and it may, may be a way that I end up doing it at some times. Now, I personally prefer the other way that I like it is to carry it like I do my stands. Pop that sternum strap off, pop that hip belt off again. Now, that is very simple in design, a way to do it. But since my pack bag has compression straps, I prefer to take this stuff, put these straps in here like this. And then open up my compression straps, set this right on there, and come right around. Come right around here like this and just lock it on my compression straps, just like I do my tree stands. And set that right on there. And then carry it this way, because then I get the benefit of my actual, my, my pack suspension system, okay, which is obviously better. This is a much more comfortable suspension system on a pack, and then I can loosen, you know, we just had those all tightened up for that other way. But now, I have my actual pack suspension system here. Loosen up my, again, we just messed all that up but earlier, but see, now I'm carrying it. I like this way a lot more personally. So um, it's a little more functional. Does it stick out a little more? Yeah, but it's not bad. It's not going anywhere. It works like a champ. And I feel zero weight. I mean, that five pounds on that thing is nothing. I mean, again, my lineman belt, my harness, and that kind of stuff um, almost equals the and bow hooks and the stuff I got to have for a tree and being in a tree almost weighs more than this thing does. Fantastic. Look at that. Now, we are going to use our other pack a lot of the time with this. So let me grab that other one. But when I get to the stand, how simple is this setup? I take it like this. I hit this buckle. I hit this buckle. I set my pack down on the ground. I take this and I lean it against the tree I want to hunt. Say this is a tree. I lean it against there and I open the seat. Slide the straps over and then I pop that there and I'm going to sit right on that seat. 
life is good. That's all there is to it. Lean it against the tree. When I'm done, close it up. Pull the straps out, I'm done. I get to go. So beautiful system. Now with the other pack, let me grab that. I'll be right back. All right, now we have my pig hunting pack. This is the one I use for hog hunting. It will also be the one I, hang on. The car is going by. It will also be the one I use for tree stand, or for, uh, for ground hunting a lot, because I can get everything I need in this. And I don't need a big bag to put a deer in, boned out, because I got my pillowcases and game bags in here, and I can pack them out on this. Ha <laughs> ha, beautiful thing. So, how are we carrying it on this? So with this one, I do prefer to put this on there, because it's just quick and simple. So I'm setting it right on the back of this, just putting the straps right over the top, just like that. Then what I'm doing on this side is I'm just feeding this compression or this, uh, you know, the uh, compression strap here on your, your chest compression strap, your sternum strap, sorry. But I'm just setting that on the top, pushing the sternum strap between them here, locking it together, and then just snugging it up. Okay, see how that locks that in there nice and tight together? That's all I'm doing. And then this one is done. We put that on our back. We can hook up all of our... Uh, um, hang on, fight my sternum strap. There we go. But I can hook up all my other straps, my waistband. But you can see it just sits there perfect simple. I mean, that works excellent. Okay, now this is down a little lower because I don't have the waistband hooked on. If we were to put this on, you'll see that it picks that up nice and good where you want it. Okay, so there it is. You put your sternum strap on. That's the system right there. Simple and easy. The weight is on my hips, nothing on my shoulders, as you see, and just fully functional. I mean, the thing's just phenomenal. And uh, like I said, I can even keep my backpack on there, still have the meat uh, meat in behind this, tucked in here, load slung between here on there, and connect my um, still connect my uh, backpack over top of the meat, almost in a load sling position that we would do like on a mystery ranch or a uh, kafaru, kafaru or a kuyu bag or something like that. You could do that and sandwich that between here by loosening up the straps on your backpack and your backpack sternum strap. So if you were to take this and loosen that sternum strap up, so if I would loosen this up a lot here, and then we were to loosen these straps on here, we could move this whole bag way out here and still have that game bag in between it. So you get all that benefit on there. So just a beautiful system, works fantastic. I'm very happy with it. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. If you are looking to ground hunt, which I am planning to do a lot more of. I've said that many times. Um, I'll never buy another tree stand in my life. I got that bee stand. I got the lone wolf assault stand. I got everything I need stand wise. My stand days are going to be less and less more and more, especially with how much foliage I have down here in the south. This is going to be a game changer. Um, this is going to be amazing. And you know I hate that word game changer, but this, this is, this is incredible. This thing is just straight up awesome and such a versatile tool for $225. So versatile, um, so lightweight. Let me give you guys a couple of measurements because a few people have asked me already on the social media stuff. So let's take this, drop this down, let's stand it here, and I'm going to go get my measuring tape so we can give you guys a couple of numbers. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's back this up so you can see it. There we go. So we know seat width on here across the seat right here. We are at 11 inches across the seat. 11 inches across. Frame is 14 inches across the frame. From the top to the bottom of the frame is 37 inches. Okay, top to bottom on the frame, 37 inches. And, um, you know, as far as, I, I don't really think, there's, and it's 4.88 pounds. And when it's all collapsed up, it's, um, it's that small. It's two tubes small. Okay, basically, that's where you're at. I mean, that thing is just incredible. So, and again, 4.88 pounds. It weighs next to nothing. It's just incredible. So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you're looking for a great chair for hunting on the ground, it's going to be hard pressed to beat this one as far as I'm thinking here. I mean, this is the best I've ever seen, and I've been looking at him for the last two months because I know how I'm going to be deer hunting down here. Um, you know, I can set this up in a patch of palmetto, and with no trees around because of the self-standing option, or I can lean it against a tree anywhere I want to and just have that thing, boom, just lean it against there, slide the shoulder straps over, boom, I got a seat right there. Life is good, and the quality of this thing is unbelievable. We're talking Kodiak canvas tent quality, which you guys know is, I think, in my opinion, one of the best tents out there. This has all of the quality of everything you want, and it's all 100% replaceable. This is a forever chair. 
Okay, the nuts and bolts are replaceable. The tubes are obviously aluminum and going to be no problem. So, but you can replace the nuts and bolts. This kind of material you could, you know, obviously buy from them if it needed again for another piece. But even if this were 20 years from now, this were to ever give out or something or got rotted out or whatever, or you ripped it and you, you know, say they're out of business, for example, this is a very easy solution to make your own for this. Okay, these pins I told you are available at any, um, uh, REI store or you could use nuts and bolts everything about this thing is pure simplicity in its simplest form I will have all of their information down below for you here it is right there as well too and uh, you can see it on that sticker but I will have it all in the information down below and uh, but just a fantastic chair um, no I did not get this for free I paid for this okay I bought this um, and uh, so what I'm telling you is because of the fact that I, I think it's pretty awesome. And it was Aaron Farley, like I said, to turn me on to this thing. And I appreciate that, Aaron, because this thing is, this is amazing. This thing is just going to be pretty awesome. And uh, I'm real excited. So thanks for watching, guys. All right, here it is. We've been waiting for this. I'm so excited for this. This is the wall drop pack seat. Okay, and I saw this when I was on that uh, hunting trip with, uh, that private land hunting trip where Aaron Farley was there. He had this. And he brought one with him, and I saw it, and I checked it out. I was like, oh, my God, that's going to be perfect for me. Being down here in Georgia, I'm going to spend a lot of time on the ground hunting. And, um, you know, I have a bunch of different seat options that I was trying to mess with, which I'll show you in a, in a video here, too, as well. Um, but this one here, absolutely incredible. And uh, so we are, uh, we got one here. Now, the one Aaron had was an older version, so I'm excited to see this new version of this. That, uh, but let's see here. First, it just showed up today. Very excited for this. Like I said, I think it's going to be a, um, you know, an excellent addition to my hunting down here this year. So we want to see what it's all about. And like I said, I have not opened it yet or nothing. I know that there is a uh, pack seat in here and there is also a, um, a game bag option. It just locks right onto that pack seat too, which is pretty nice. So you can actually use it as a pack frame and everything. So we are excited to see what it is we have here. And uh, hang on, I got tape on my knife still. There we go, let's rub that off there. And see what we got in this box. So, all right. So, what do we have here? We have a pack seat. Nothing else in the box for me, but look at that thing right there. Woohoo! That is pretty impressive. Um, so what this thing is, is this is actually a multifunctional chair. It does two purposes. Now when it comes in this down position here, okay, with this in the bottom, this bar down in the lower set, which is going to open. That's kind of cool. It catches right on there too. That's nice. Uh, but so we got this in the lower set. It has a strap on here like this. And I'm going to show you this. We're going to test this and do a lot with it out there. But this is an unboxing part of this video. But so you have this adjustable strap seat on here. So you can take this thing and put it wherever you want it to be at. And then your seat folds out here. They give you a couple tennis balls uh, to put on the front leg so that it's going to, um, uh, so it's not sinking in the mud. Love that. That's very cool. So we will definitely be putting those on, setting them there for right now though. But you have backpack straps on here. Right here, you just pop the sternum strap, throw it out of the way so you're good. You got your hip belt strap, but you basically, you have your chair here right like this so you can hunt out of and be set up and it's super comfortable you can shoot from do whatever you want you can adjust this back ability here on this because all you have to do is tighten or loosen this lower strap down here as you want it tighter like here's going to make it straight up and down okay so i, I got a railing here let's put it there can you still see the bottom yeah so now it's going to basically be like straight up and down there so I can sit in here, but you can see I'm like, you know, back is straight up and down. Or I can loosen that down here, grab that little strap, and loosen that up, and then it's going to go the other way. Got to get it here and adjust it, but you can take this. Now this is just one thing that it does. There's more to this. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. So let me get that. There we go. And then we loosen this up, and then you can adjust this. So now it's going to be a lot more tipped back. You know, or if I had high ground behind me, but see now I'm tipped back more. So you got a lot of comfort. That's a cool feature of this uh, uh, this chair. Is it's definitely very nice, super comfortable, very lightweight at under five pounds. Um, so I like it. But now you can also take this rear leg, disconnect this strap from here, so it's not on here, 
how I will use it a lot of the time. You can put this right up like this and leave it up there. Just lock the strap back. Right now we're just going to kind of tuck it for a second. But now I can lean this right up against the tree and just sit on it. So it's that quick and easy. Take it off my back and then take it and just open the seat up, put it on the ground and lean it right against the tree and sit on it at any angle I want to. Uh, so I don't have to use this back leg bar. That's great if I'm sitting in a patch of palmettos or something and I want that down and I want this to self sit. But if I don't, I can have this up and lean it right against the tree. Fantastic options. You also have your backpack straps on here. Okay, so this is carried in with backpack straps like this, which I have not adjusted yet. You've seen that, like I said, we're just getting it all uh, set up here. There we go. But we got backpack straps. We got a sternum strap. We also have a hip belt strap somewhere down on here, right down here. So you can set this up how you want it to be, which I have not done yet or adjusted anything on, but and you can carry it in, throw your hang your pack right on this, and you're good to go. So it's gonna have a lot of potential once we get this thing set up exactly like we want. And there is also the option now to put to pack animals out on this, and I believe it is because this one comes through like this and that can be adjusted up and then that actually becomes a pack shelf for your actual, you can use that as an actual dedicated pack shelf like this for packing animals out. So you can put your meat, get your game bags and everything right on it, it becomes a pack chair. Again, this is just unboxing part. We will get way more into this over the next few days after I do some testing with it. But that's this thing is pretty sweet. Everything is fully adjustable on the seats, fully adjustable on the back. Um, very cool design and setup, so I'm pretty excited about this chair. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Now we also have here, which is stuffed in here, is a pack bag. Okay, so I can actually use this, just more of that netting material here, which is super quality and thick, but I can actually stuff my game bags right in here, and it's got tie-down straps on it, and I don't have to worry about uh, um, lashing anything on here or tying it up. It's drawstring, it's done. Put my meat sack right in there. Like I said, the seat would fold right over onto this side, and a game bag would sit right on there. So this comes right through like this, that game bag will sit right on there. This will come right together, and that is a whole pack out. Basically, I can pack my deer out on my chair. Again, adjusting my straps. I have nothing adjusted yet, but you see the concept of this and how that works. This thing's pretty incredible. So there's a lot of versatility in this little five pound chair. And when we're not using this, we just take this bag and fold it back up like this and just kind of fold it together and it's going to just sit tucked right in here and this back part fits right between your back spacer guide here um, or you all have a strap right here too but we can tuck it right in or we can just strap it right to this like this and have it where it is set and in there and out of the way and again irrelevant we can take this put that right against the you know, take that and lean it right against the chair. Again, so many versatile options for this thing and what we can do with it. This thing is pretty cool. I am not going to lie. This thing has got a serious amount of potential um, as a pretty awesome little chair. So we're going to get it set up. We're going to do some testing with it and check it out. This game bag is removable. If we don't want it, we can pop these pins out. Just real simple pins right here with cotter, cotter keys. Pop that out and remove that bag if we don't want it. Um, but what a versatile little chair. And again, once we get this thing outside, I will show you, uh, we'll, we'll be using this a ton and we're going to see what this thing's all about. So uh, this is just the unboxing part. Stick around. We'll have a lot more of this video coming for you.